It is a choice between two very diff different visions for America. I got to say, when I hear my opponent talk about America, I don't recognize the country he's talking about. It is so dark, so divisive, so hateful. That is not the America that I believe in. I believe that we should have a confident, optimistic, inclusive vision of where we're going and how we're going to get there. But maybe you could ask them with you to imagine, imagine January 20th, 2017. And imagine that my opponent is taking the oath of office in front of the Capitol. Imagine having a president who demeans women and mocks the disabled, who insults African Americans and Latinos and Muslims. We would have a president who has said repeatedly that he thinks the lives of black people are all about crime and poverty and despair. He has no idea about the strength of the black church and the vibrancy of black-owned businesses and the excellence of historically black colleges and universities. He seems to know nothing about the rise of a new generation of black activists and the success of black leaders in every field. As you've heard, it was just announced on Friday that the FBI is reopening their investigation into the criminal and illegal conduct of Hillary Clinton. Hillary has nobody but herself to blame for her mounting legal problems.